So the Houthis appear not to have been deterred by those American and British strikes I just mentioned because we've seen more ships being hit just this Monday and Tuesday in the Red Sea. So what do you think happens now? Will there be more American strikes on Yemen? There could well be more US strikes on Yemen. Although I think that Western powers will take note that the Houthis are not so easily deterred. I think this was probably quite predictable because the Houthis have been at war for nine years. They've undergone over 25,000 airstrikes by the Saudi-led coalition over seven of the last nine years. So it was predictable that this wasn't going to deter them. And they probably also realised that they were about to undergo strikes from the US or the UK, or at least at risk of that, and would have hidden some of their military equipment. They're adept at that. And so they will keep fighting on. And what one thing to bear in mind here is that it's an unequal fight because the Houthis don't need to be accurate in when they're firing back. They simply need to launch rockets, uh, missiles and drones into the Red Sea in order to disrupt shipping and therefore rattle financial markets with all the knock-on effects that that has for the global economy. The West, on the other hand, the United States and the UK and their allies need to be precise in their attacks because they cannot risk killing civilians. So I think we're set to see the Houthis continue for some time yet. OK, so the Houthis are likely to continue these strikes, but I'm interested in what you think is in it for the group. The strikes that they're carrying out generally aren't causing a great deal of damage to those ships in the Red Sea. They're certainly not uh, halting the bombardment of Gaza, which is their sort of stated aim here, isn't it, in, to act in solidarity with the Palestinians. And as you say, it has prompted these attacks on their soil, on Yemeni soil. So big picture, why do it for the Houthis? Well, the Houthis actually stand to gain quite a lot from this current situation. First of all, the narratives which pitch the United States as an aggressor in the Middle East, as the enemy of Islam, uh, are underlined and justified by these attacks. And they win broad support because the Houthis are standing up, as they say, for the Palestinians, at least this is the way they pitch it. And that has broad support, not just amongst their base, not just in Yemen, but more broadly around the Arab world, because there aren't many parties who are actually doing something. And although you say this hasn't helped the situation in Gaza, what it has done is it's brought international attention to the plight of the Palestinians in a way that nothing else really could, because this is having an impact on the global economy. So they're bringing the Palestinian plight to international eyes in a way that I think is going to continue and going to continue to hurt us. Dr Elizabeth Kendall, it's good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed.